Great. So yeah, why don't we go? We're gonna go ahead and start. Um, so uh, welcome everybody to another uh, phone on community event here on Twitter Spaces. Really pleased to have all of you, and for all of you, all, all of you listening on your phones now live, and those of you listening recording, welcome. Uh, we have a huge and exciting announcement um, from the phone on DAO. And before we get to that announcement, I want to give you a quick primer on what phone on is. Phone on is the world's most advanced payments protocol, optimized for and compatible with the decentralized web. Uh, we're a robust and incredible community, and we'd love for you to join us on Discord in the future. Um, and what I'd like to do is tee up Justin LaRue, uh, the CEO of Grid Plus, to give us a little bit of background on Phonon, the Phonon DAO, and of course, to make this big announcement. Justin? Hey. Thanks, Nikki. Um, so yeah, I'm Justin LaRue. I'm the CEO of Grid Plus. And what's the tie-in here? Uh, it's that Grid Plus had originally incubated this idea for a protocol uh, to meet our own scaling needs for an old use case. And uh, it no longer fit into our core plans, but the technology is something special. So we opted to spin this out and present it to the open source community as a DAO. Um, so what Phone on DAO does is basically uh, oversee this protocol, uh, the standard itself, it acts as a grants award. And then what we're doing at Grid Plus in support of this is that we're doing a reference implementation of the DAO's spec. So it's almost like the Ethereum Foundation and you know core client development teams. And we hope there'll be many other client development teams too uh, very soon. So at its core, what is Phone on? Uh, well, it's not actually a blockchain, it's a tool that will supplement the, the capabilities of blockchains that you already use. So I've always thought with privacy protocols like Zcash um, and others that I never really felt the appeal because I don't want to move my assets from the tools that I'm already using to a new system just to get the, the privacy capabilities, right? Um, and Phonon is more than just a privacy tool. What we're doing is taking secure hardware that can be smart cards, the eSIMs in your phone or hardware wallet, and using them to let you transact securely off chain without double spend. So this doesn't create a new network. It doesn't have smart contract capabilities, although it's been used with that we could do some more advanced scripting off chain um, further down the line. But why are we doing off chain transactions and why is this useful? Well, it takes the crypto that you already have uh, from just about any blockchain and lets you transact with it off-chain like cash, directly with the properties of cash. So meaning it's private, it's peer-to-peer, -peer, it's scalable based on as many users want to transact because it's going directly from user to user. Um, and then also it creates opportunities for interoperability, like uh, having a DEX that actually lets you trade native assets off-chain rather than you know the current approach where that we're used to with Ethereum where uh, we have custodial wrapped assets, you know, whether that's WBTC or TBTC, any other bridged asset. Um, we can actually trade the native asset. So how is this possible? Why is it important? Uh, the way that it's possible is that we're using the secure hardware. Uh, each of these uh, devices that I've mentioned have something uh, in particular that's special in them. Uh, cell phones have, are moving to a standard called eSIM, and those use something called a puff chip. Sounds very esoteric, but it means physically unclonable function. A physically unclonable function means that each one of these chips that's used in Grid Plus hardware wallets and smart cards and the credit and debit cards you have in your wallet or in an eSIM uh, are unique like a, a snowflake or a fingerprint. This means we have a guaranteed source of entropy, which means we can do a cryptographic exchange that prevents double spend and allows you to transact uh, fully off-chain with the security of, of being on-chain. So once it's off-chain, you're moving it around like a, a dollar bill. It's peer-to-peer, -peer and I'm just passing it to someone with no other record. You know that you're the only owner of this asset. Um, and this basically allows us to preserve the properties of cash in an increasingly digital world. So. This brings me to why this is important. Um, an anecdote that I've leaned on quite a bit within the DAO itself uh, is that I've spent a lot of my life traveling back and forth to China. 
my wife were joined from there and I had family there. And, you know, we, we, we try to go back every year up until COVID, of course. Um, and what we found very quickly there was that I don't know, each of our visits, cash became less and less common until the last visit we had, um, we couldn't even buy street food with actual cash. No one had change. And what you had to do was use WeChat uh, just by scanning QR codes. And you can say, okay, great. Um, hey, that's very convenient. Um, but in much the same way that blockchains are uh, transparent public ledgers, what this means is that every minor financial transaction yielding your location, your bank accounts, your personality, and not your personality, although that one would be very advanced. Um, all of your personal details are basically made public to the government itself. And this is what we're seeing increasingly. And uh, on a personal level, I feel alarmed about the rise of surveillance capitalism, which I basically mean to be the manner in which Silicon Valley's, uh, Silicon Valley companies like Google and others derive profit from providing free services but harvesting and selling your data because cross-referenced and used in all manner of ways, including your location data. So I think cash is important. Cash is not something we should lose. And if we're not going to have uh, an economy in many parts of the world where we're physically using cash all the time, we can recreate those properties digitally. And that's what Phone on Dow is here to do. Um, so what it, this is going to bring us to uh, Dan, who's the lead implementer of the protocol on the uh, Grid Plus team, who is doing a reference implementation that we hope will uh, inspire lots of other teams and software developers, smart card manufacturers uh, to do their own compatible clients based on this reference, so that this becomes a uh, ubiquitous public protocol. And I think what's really positive some about Phonon and makes it special is that we are providing a new toolkit for all the things that people already use. It's not a, a new solution that supplants old ones. It's something special that will enhance the privacy that you have, uh, the speed with which you can transact, the ways in which you can transact with your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, uh, all your other L1 assets that you have now, and the L2 assets. And uh, the applications to this are many. Right now what we're focused on is just the foundation, the protocol itself. Um, but what we envision within the you know, coming year is that these private off-chain transactions will be the way in which, for example, I, a use case that I'm excited about is just seeding new wallets on Ethereum. You know, right now everyone goes through a centralized exchange, and that might make it harder for someone to track you through Etherscan or Nansen, um, but you're also basically giving up uh, information about how all your wallets are connected to uh, any party that buys your information from the centralized exchange, which Coinbase and others do provide to government agencies around the world. So it, I don't want to lean into the privacy side too much. I want you to come over to the idea that the things that we're adding to the assets you already use are, yes, privacy, but also scalability, because it's purely peer-to-peer, -peer, so you're transacting at the speed of the internet, and also interoperability, because now we can have uh, new ways of exchanging assets off-chain, um, that don't rely on the centralized custodian, like a, a, a cryptocurrency exchange. So um, this brings us to the most important part of this and what Mickey is uh, mentioning as the announcement. We're launching the testnet for the alpha this coming Wednesday. It's an incentivized testnet, so it requires that um, you actually get a kit with two smart cards, two card readers, but just for participating and helping us stress test the system, um, the DAO will actually provide token incentives offsetting your upfront costs. So we anticipate that this will go uh, very quickly and we're excited to bring more developers, more users, and, and more people into the fold to provide feedback on, on what's been built. So uh, now I'm circling back to uh, Dan Veenstra, the lead implementer, who is uh, in charge of Grid Plus's team that has taken Phonon from being a published spec to a reality. So all you Dan. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Justin. Um, yeah, like Justin mentioned, I'm Diane Veenstra. I'm the first engineer and uh, now engineering manager for the phone on team at Grid Plus. And uh, yeah, like you said, we're launching the testnet this Wednesday. So that'll include um, 
the uh, card readers with the testnet implementation of uh, the phone on spec, as well as the um, higher level client will run on a laptop or desktop PC. Uh, we basically just want to give people a chance to, uh, you know, play with the code, um, perform some of the simple tasks of uh, transferring phonons back and forth, um, depositing and redeeming phonons on uh, a couple different uh, blockchains, um, and giving us feedback on uh, how the software works for them, any any issues they find, and uh, you know, help us take the protocol to the next level. Um, Yeah, I don't have much more to say than that. Our little testnet kits, I guess, will be available on uh, the phonon.network site. Link from there. Um, yeah, and we'll, our team will be standing by to, to make improvements and change things up as feedback comes in. Awesome. Uh, thanks, Dan. Thanks, Justin. Uh, I want to just summarize some things for those of you who just joined so you can kind of get a sense of um, why this testnet is so important and to sort of summarize a lot of things uh, Justin and Dan have said. So it wouldn't be... Uh, we talked about these um, these smart cards that are coming in this test kit. It's a test kit you're going to have to purchase on uh, on the phone.network website in order to test uh, the protocol. Uh, and um, we're testing whether or not we can we're testing how we can send assets between these two cards. And it wouldn't be remarkable historically to use smart cards to send, let's say, money from one person to another or to purchase something. That happens all the time. You use that technology almost every day. It's the same technology. This physical and clonable function, secure element technology, you use this technology every day. Your grandmother uses this technology every day. It's used um, in millions, billions of transactions all over the world. What's really unique about Phonon and what's really exciting about it is, at least for the first time that I've seen, um, a dedicated team of incredibly smart people who are um, Web3 native, who have a sense of um, privacy and a vision for uh, free, free economic uh, activity are open sourcing this technology and ensuring that at the very core of this technology is embedded an idea of privacy. Um, because the technology itself is very scalable, right? This is a technology that's highly scalable. Um, phone on itself is capable since it's peer to peer of, you know, more TPS than, you know, Visa, MasterCard, Bitcoin combined if it were to scale because it scales linearly with every participant. It's completely peer to peer. It doesn't rely on a centralized um, warehouse to facilitate the transfer of um, data. There's no one with a ledger. There's no centralized payment repository. There's no blockchain. It's just it's a um, piece of infrastructure that's core to uh, the promise of uh, Web3 and crypto uh, that's open source and for use. But in order for this open source movement to work, we need you to participate in this test net process. We need you to take on the mantle of making sure the technology works. And in exchange, um, the, the DAO will be rewarding you with um, governance tokens. And more importantly, you can help uh, move this technology forward because we, we're a DAO. We're a group of people who just joined on this idea, this, this uh, really ambitious and creative idea around um, you know, free and transparent payment infrastructure. And uh, it really only works if we have people like you helping us out. So we really would appreciate uh, your help and we look forward to uh, working with you. And um, if you want to know more details, feel free to jump, jump in the Discord. You can follow our Twitter, of course. We have information there. On our website, we'll have more information. We'll be doing more and more events. We're going to be doing an event with Bankless DAO in the next couple of days, which we'd love for you to join as well. And, um, and join our community because, you know, we're only as good as, as, our, as our community. And uh, we're having a great time in the Discord every day. So um, uh, really, look, really look forward to having you. And, and I hope you guys get to participate in this test. Net, test, test There's a limited number of cards. So, and I think they'll probably sell it pretty fast. Um, they'll go on sale August 3rd. Um, so definitely look out for that. And we'll, of course, be tweeting. Um, and with that, I, I guess uh, I'll open it up for questions. Or we nailed it and no questions needed. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, in terms of the next steps, the most important thing is just keep your eyes peeled for Wednesday. Uh, we'll have announcements about when they go on sale. It's, it's first come, first serve. Just in terms of the, the cost, the kits are 129 but if you just complete the steps, that should take you just over an hour or so um, to stress test a few things and help provide data on how this system is functioning. 
you should earn about $200 in rewards at current spot prices. So, you know, it's a risk-free upfront thing beyond the allocation of your time. And we hope enough people find this uh, sufficiently intriguing and exciting that the real draw beyond, you know, just actually getting data on how everything functions and stress testing it is to, you know, to pull people in who are uh, excited about the idea and aligned and want to become contributors down the line, whether that's helping uh, push open source code or just being a community member in any other way. And we've attracted a pretty uh, wild bunch of people with a DAO that have, are talented in all different areas from graphic design, the website design, um, technical writing, and you know, and then of course coding as well, contributing at the protocol level. So um, we feel that what we're building here is important for moving the space forward. It's something that uh, is inherently useful and brings utility to all the things that we already use every day with crypto. Um, so yeah, get involved. There's no cost you up front, and you will probably make some money out of it. And then also, um, for the security professionals out there, we also have um, pen testing rewards. If you can double spend a phone on off chain, um, there's a $10,000 reward. Uh, we don't think anyone will will claim that, but it's there, and we hope that uh, people will put this system through its paces mercilessly, so we can help harden it and get one step closer to rolling out the production rules. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, anyone else has anything to pop in? But I think that covers we it. have a couple of questions. Um, Rooster, you're first. Uh, he answered it in the last, so I'm good. Oh, what was the question? Uh, it was how much is it going to cost? Oh, cool. I guess. All right. Uh, All right. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Uh, I would like to ask concerning the uh, test kit. Since it's physical, will it be shipped all around? Because most of us, I think myself, speaking for myself personally, I'm not uh, nowhere near you guys. I'm in Africa. I don't know if it's possible to be shipped down here to Africa. Um, it can be shipped to most locations. The constraints aren't uh, about where in the world people are. It's more about... Um, U.S. sanctions and cryptography regulations, so and also uh, foreign governments regulations. So the only places off the top of my head that we can't uh, send to are OFAC sanctioned countries, so Iran, North Korea, and um, then both Russia and China have uh, national laws uh, preventing us from shipping them any cryptography tools that are um, not approved by the government. So but that's not an option for us. Outside of that, we should be able to uh, accommodate orders all over the world. Oh, OK, thank you very much. The best would be to um, make sure you're in the Discord. That's the fastest way to find out when you can order a kit. And yeah, I would love to stay in touch and hear how the kit's working for you and uh, any feedback you have as well. That'd be great. I should also point out, I guess, um, one of the things we foresee is uh, we're going to have a couple of events, maybe uh, starting about a week or two after the test night kits officially are sold. And uh, you'll be able to link up with other people. So we'll do them across time zones and we'll be able to have like you'll have opportunities to find people that are also doing the test net and connect with them because you're going to need to link up with other individuals in order to uh, conduct a lot of the tasks. Yeah, so since there is no centralized ledger, some of the tests will require that you just you meet someone in the Discord and then do an off-chain transaction with them. Um, and then that would cover you both. But yeah, that's the uh, the thing. There is no centralized ledger. There are privacy-preserving properties, so things will need to be done uh, directly peer-to-peer -peer for a few steps. Awesome. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, Justin, Dan, everybody, for joining. Uh, stay tuned to uh, to our Twitter, our Twitter, and our uh, and our Discord as well. We'll be doing an event in a couple of days with Bankless. Hope you guys join us for that as well. And uh, happy testing. Hope everyone gets a chance to get a kit. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Talk to you more soon.